Clean and promethazine A hundred rounds if you fuck around I need a lick for about a hundred pounds You was pillow talking, don't be running now Kill us, What's good, man? It's your boy Lucky DaVinci We're holding it down for IVTV Got a special guest with us right now, man My boy Loose Cannon, what's good with you, homie? Just cool, what's happening with you? You already know what it is, man We're doing it, we do it like we do it for TV, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So before we get into this, you know what I'm saying? Shout out where you from, you know what I'm saying? What you represent? Shit, West Orlando, Florida, man I represent Loose Cannon Music Loose Cannon Movement, Cannon Gang, represent West Orlando, all that. Represent Florida, fuck it, you know what I mean? Facts, that's what it is, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, so how the name come about, bro? How you come up with this Loose Cannon shit you got going on, man? It been smooth, though. Yeah, to be real, you know what I'm saying? Loose Cannon really, you know what I'm saying? Before this rap shit, it was just on some, like, 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 some screech. So you know how you got clicks, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's where the name came from, you feel me? Like, with that Lou Cannon, you feel me? Fact. And that was based on, based on the lifestyle niggas was living that name just came about, cause you know what I'm saying? Certain shit niggas was doing that was young. But then when I when I got caught up in a little situation at like 17, you know what I'm saying? I got out of the situation, I turned into a music, a music movement, you feel me? Really, it was just a click shit, you feel me? Then I had the Luke Cannon music at the end of it, you feel me? Right, that's how that came about. You rather get in detail with your little situation you speaking about? Yeah, man, I was, I, was, I was 17 years old, man, you know, doing what y'all niggas do, you feel me? I fucked around and got in a little situation with my with my best friend, you feel me? Robbed with a firearm case, a whole bunch of charges, you know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of PBL charges, you feel me? Y'all don't know what that is, that's punishable by life, you feel me? And I was charged as an adult at 17, you feel me? But the twist to the situation is, I ain't had nothing to do with this shit, you feel me? My nigga really, you know what I'm saying, had, was the one who did this shit, you feel me? And somebody else who was with him put my name in it, you feel me? So only way he can get off this charge if I lay down and be quiet, you know what I'm saying? So long story short, I stayed in there for about, about seven months, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, going through all types of shit, you feel me? Lawyer telling me to sign 20 years, I'ma catch life, you feel me? So basically, you know what I'm saying, it all boiled down to like, you know what I'm saying, how I was built, bro, you know what I'm saying, how me and my nigga was so close, I was ready to go do that time for my boy, you feel me? But that one part of God's plan, you know what I'm saying? After, after just laying down, being quiet, you feel me? They had the evidence, they had everything they needed to, to, to you know what I'm saying, to, when the case, but the person who was the main motherfucking um, what's the word um, the um, the nigga telling basically, you yeah. feel me? The main motherfucking, the nigga telling, he fucked around and called him a murder charge, so he was not a reliable source, you know what I'm saying? Okay, 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 gotcha. That's how the charge got dropped, you feel me? And then shit, me and my nigga got out, you know what I'm saying? But the whole time I was in there. You know what I'm saying? I already had in my head, like, shit, I'm finna probably go through 20, you know what I'm saying? And just, you know what I'm saying, just so my nigga can, just so my nigga ain't catch life, I, I, I put that in my head, bro, and I really, I really, you know what I'm saying, molded that, like, fuck it is what it is. But the time being, when I was in there, I was writing down, like, what my, what my mixtape name was gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Like, just basically writing my little raps, you feel me? Like, just telling myself, shit, if I ever do get the chance to see my, have my freedom again, I'm gonna take this serious. You feel me? Yeah. And, and shit, it was meant to be. I got released and that's what I did. You feel me? Hit the ground running with that shit. Yeah, and I ain't stopped since. That was up, my nigga. So how long you been doing this music shit? Shit, I got out of 18 for about, about five years now. Okay, okay, okay. Any, any rap niggas you been fucking with? Any features you want to speak on? Shit, I got features. I got features with all types of people. I got features with Cole, New Gotti, you feel me? KT, motherfucking. Badass Becky, Moot Boy, you know what I'm saying? All my niggas. Hot Raw, Easy, you know what I'm saying? All my niggas. Motherfucking, um, I just, I just shot a video recently with the nigga, um, Baby Soldier from Jacksonville. You know what I'm saying? I got another feature with nigga Raw Wave on the way. Okay. Right from St. Pete, you feel me? That's what's up, that's what's up. Any rappers that you, you plan to fuck with or you, or you watching that you give a shout out to that's doing their thing right now? 
Hell no. Nah. <laughs> what's up? Hell no. Nah. You feel me? If the shit, if the shit happens. Yeah. This shit happy, baby. Happy, the happy. Fuck happy. Is up, man. I ain't signing nigga out like I want to do a song. You feel? I fold a, I fold a couple people in the music industry, feel? But I ain't gonna say like, oh yeah, shout out to you. I want to do a facts, song with facts, you. Nah. Facts. The nigga in his own lane, man. So don't take that shit personal. Yeah. It's all motherfucking business, man. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Respect that shit, man. If you do, it is what it is. <laughs> you damn right, nigga. We don't give a fuck no way. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, man. You've been fucking up the challenges, bro. Yeah. You've been smashing all them shits, man. With the list can go on with the challenge shit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you be eating them bitches up, bruh. Mm-hmm. That Say Cheese shit is lit, you know what I'm saying? If you want to speak on that, you know what I'm saying? The Say Cheese TV shit. <clears throat> yeah, the challenges, see, the challenges, I just do that just to show, like, most of my challenges I do, I don't even record them in the studio. I just record it probably sitting in the car or something. Spur feel? the moment type yeah, shit. Yeah, just to let them folks know, like, it's plenty of this shit, you know what I'm saying? I can, <laughs> I can get this shit out all day and there's still plenty more that came from so I really don't even gotta go record it or shoot no video to it, you feel me? I just give it to you blood raw. Damn right. You know what I'm saying? It's like a sport, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas who play basketball, they shoot around and they scrimmage, you feel me? So the challenge is like a scrimmage to me, yeah. basically. You just sharpening up your craft, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let just, them know it's still there. Exactly. It ain't exactly. never going nowhere. Yeah, and that say cheese shit came about, you feel me, them folks like like I think the first like one or more like a couple months ago, I just posted I posted one of the challenges and before it was on there for like a minute, they already had reposted it, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I didn't even know how the hell they seen it because I just uploaded it, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Just recently went to post a couple of shit. So, you know, it just everything take time, you feel me? Yeah, exactly. everything take time. Like if you saw if you go look at them posts, you'll see in the comments them folks. Folks fucking with it, you know what I'm saying? So it's just a matter of time for these folks. You know what I'm saying? Listen, they gonna catch everything, you feel mm-hmm, me? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, last time we crossed paths, you know what I'm saying? We was fucking off with Haitian Fresh and all that shit with the interview with him, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You were just on the scene doing your thing and shit, mm-hmm. but it was showing some relevance, you know what I'm saying? If they weren't paying attention, they know now what it is, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. I like your work, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a musician myself, you know what I'm saying? I ain't in no rush though, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that you are, but yeah. I like to see people do do their work, you know what Fuck, saying? Man, I'm saying? I'm work in a rush. I've been, I've been waiting so long, I'm in a rush. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Go get that shit, it's nigga. It's about time shit. this shit You heard nigga been hey. grinding, putting that work for it. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't come overnight. I already showed these folks, you feel me? So shit, it's about that time, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. So what's going on with your next project, man? You know what I'm saying? What you got going on with that? To be honest, right now, I ain't, I ain't got no, I don't think I'm going to drop no tape for a little minute. You know what I'm saying? I just got straight singles I'm going to be releasing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just got a bunch of singles I'm going to be releasing. You hit them across the head with a bunch of shit. You yeah, know you know what I'm saying? Eventually, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get into another tape, but I, I feel like I want my fan base to be why I needed to be for me to give them a whole mixtape, you know what I'm saying? Cause some shit get, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know what I'm saying? A couple thousand might hit, but nah, I want a hundred of thousands to hit, you know Keep what I'm saying? Keep pushing that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all you gotta do, just be persistent with that shit, you know what I'm saying? Don't give up on it, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You get out of it, what you put into it anyway. Mm-hmm. So long as you doing that shit, it's gonna come, like we already were saying, it's just, it's just patience, you know what I mm-hmm. mean? Like we already know the shit don't happen overnight, so never expect it to be overnight, but expect it though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Long hey, as you mentally got happen, it. It should happen any day. Yeah. Some people wake up the next day and it be the, you know what I'm saying? It was just a nigga, uh, I met a nigga in Jacksonville, you feel me? I was with a nigga Lil Dirt, you know what I'm saying? I was with Lil Dirt, you feel me? Just riding with them boys or whatever. And there was a little nigga who asked me, hey, bro, let me, let me get a picture with Dirt, you feel me? So I, I told Dirt, nigga, want a picture. Next couple months, now I just signed a million dollar, uh, or well, matter of fact, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, like, I think I had a million dollar deal, you feel me, just recently. You yeah. feel me? When I, when I first met him, he had like 9,000 followers. Now he got like 395,000 or something, you feel me? So, and that shit happened like overnight for bro, you feel me? Mm-hmm. That shit just show you like one day you can wake up, your whole life can change, you feel me? Damn yeah, right, my nigga. As long as you practice getting ready when it's time, you ain't got to worry about it. My nigga, you just going to be right there for you to take advantage of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. For real, so any advice you get to the young generation, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what would you tell them, you know what I'm saying, that's trying to do the same thing that you're doing out here in this music game? Shit, that keep it real with yourself, you feel me? Keep it real with your crowd. You know what I'm saying? When you when you when you when you tell the truth, your shit gonna come out. It's gonna come out right. You feel it's gonna come out different than when you just lying. You feel me? Like 
know what I'm saying? Like when you really actually spit what you really going through, you can really, you can really put it out that way, you feel me? Instead of rapping about some other shit that she ain't really got going on. So, you know what I'm saying? Plus on top of that, if you start, you feel me? Just make sure you finish, you know what I'm saying? Don't start if you ain't gonna finish. Ain't no point in even starting, but if you start, finish, you feel me? No matter if it take you a day, two days, one year, five years, just stay consistent, you feel me? Always, man. Stay true to yourself, man, first and foremost, man. That's that's just the name of the game, man. As long as you do that, you can't lose. You know what I'm saying? You can't do nothing but expect to win. You know what I'm saying? Just stay true to yourself. So, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. You already know. You know what I'm saying? Wish you the best of luck on behalf of IVTV. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? We want you to progress forward. You know what I'm saying? Never stop what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Stay focused on what's ahead of you. You know what I'm saying? Before we close out, let them know how to reach you every which way possible. You know what I'm saying? Right. Y'all could uh, add me on Facebook at Loose Cannon Takeoff. You feel me? I got my music page on Facebook, Loose Cannon Takeoff 407. You could add me on Instagram, Loose Cannon underscore Takeoff 407. You know what I'm saying? You could add me on motherfucking Snapchat, Loose Cannon underscore 407. Motherfucking Twitter. I don't want really to be on Twitter, but you add me on Twitter. Yeah, KKZ underscore Takeoff. You know what I'm saying? Go to my YouTube. You can add me. You know what I'm saying? Find me on YouTube on the Loose Cannon Takeoff. Go subscribe to that shit. You feel me? Tune in and stay tuned in. You feel me? Y'all already know how to reach us, man, on the ground, man, at Intervision TV at IVTV. You already know what it is. You reach me at DaVinci 400. Signing off. You gone. Girl, Right back in the day, I know that they hate